Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Western Racing. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at another case of Hot Wheels Monster Trucks for 2022. Man, if I go one more Monster Truck, Hot Wheels Monster Trucks video without knowing what case I'm looking at, I'm going to lose my mind. That happens way too often. It's kind of embarrassing. But uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today is taking a look at a new case of trucks for the channel here. This is, uh, oh my god, everything in my studio is falling over. Also, um, I don't know why my voice, all right, my voice sounds a bit different for today's video. Just kind of give you a heads up. Uh, I don't know what that's all about, why I sound like this, but I do, and it's kind of strange. And personally, I really don't like it. Uh, yeah, so today we're going to take a look at eight monster trucks in total. Uh, two of them are re-releases though. So if you are a collector and I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll just explain it when we get there. Anyway, we're going to take a look at eight trucks today. This is case G. I went through and did my research and I found out what case this is. So now I actually know. And, uh, I'm scanning the packaging here to see if it, it doesn't. I really wish they'd say if it was case G or something on the packaging, that would make my life a lot easier. But, uh, yeah. I, I don't know what is going on with my voice right now. It sounds it sounds hilarious on my end. I don't know if you guys can even hear what's wrong with it. But uh, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, we're going to be taking a look at these trucks here today. And the first one we're going to look at is a pretty interesting one, a very controversial one though. And I will explain why when we get to it. The first truck we're going to look at is Batitude. Now, the reason why this truck is so controversial is because like Gunkster, everybody thinks that this truck was has inspiration taken from a spin master truck so the reason why gunkster was such a big uh controversial piece was because a lot of people believe that gunkster was a ripoff of ocd meltdown Moss gm ocd himself even said he believed that i refuse to believe that and the reason why is because ocd meltdown is just too different from gunkster so i will be on team gunkster and say that it is an original idea it may have taken inspiration it is not a ripoff though i refuse to believe that this truck here is believed to be a ripoff of Bakugan Dragonoid. I don't have a normal one because I have yet to do a video for a case of trucks that has a normal one. Spin Master, please release a normal Bakugan Dragonoid in the near future, please, because I need to get my hands on one. I have missed every single normal Bakugan Dragonoid release that you guys have done. So please release another one that would make me very happy in a doubles pack or something, just anything. I need, I need a normal Bakugan Dragonoid. So what I have is, actually, wait a minute. I do have a normal Bakugan Dragonoid. Hold on, let me go get it. Boom, I do have a normal. This is what the real life Bakugan Dragonoid looks like. It's red, not gold. So this is what Bakugan Dragonoid looks like. Everybody was saying that Batitude here looks like Bakugan Dragonoid. I will not be opening this in today's video. However, the video on this product will come out Hopefully before 2024, I don't know. This video isn't even on my schedule yet, but I do have the full case of these and I will review them when the time comes. But yeah, so now that you know what Back on Dragonoid looks like, let's take a look at Batitude and just see what we've got going on here. I do think that the name of this truck is a bit, isn't very good. Reason being is because uh, Hot Wheels, for some reason, really likes trucks with names like Attitude, and I don't know why. We've got Batitude, Bad Ratitude was the name of a car at one point. We also had Bad Catitude was another one that they did. And I'm pretty sure they had another vehicle at one point that had that name as well. Let's take a look at the truck in total here. We're going to start with the back of the card like we always do. So you can see the Batitude nameplate there. It is a creature. Uh, the strength is the baddest of them all. And Crash Attack is Cave Crusher. Not bad stats on that one. I actually really like the stats that time around. Pretty good. Here is the card insert for Batitude. You can see the logo there. It looks really cool. I love the way that turned out. And then, oops, I don't want that to slide off into the abyss. That would be a little annoying to have to find that later. But uh, yeah, so we'll set it right there. And then the crush car, the connect and crash crush car is the accessory for this case. And we get a green cruise bruiser. Apparently the only color that cruise bruiser comes in. I don't know why. But anyway, here is the truck Batitude. Right off the bat, I am going to say, there, there's a bit of a pun for you right off the bat. I am going to say the paint on the wings is awesome. I love the way that looks. However, the wings on mine are a little bent because of the packaging. So that's no big deal. Now, 
the similarities that everybody was saying that this truck looks like bad at or uh, Bakugan Dragonoid. The reason why everybody thinks that is because of one reason, the wings. Now, again, I am going to say this straight up. If that is what they copied, then that's whatever. Because if you look at the trucks, they are pretty similar in shape. But other than that, they are practically completely different. The back end is completely different. Bakugan Dragonoid has a tail. Batitude does not. The trucks are pretty much completely different except for a few small details. Like the, the overall shape of the body and the wings are the only two things that really make them look similar. Other than that, I think they, that once again, like Gunkster, the argument that, it is, that this is a ripoff of Dragonoid is not true. Is it, is it inspired by Dragonoid? Maybe, but I would argue barely even on that. This just seems like it's a custom concept that they, like I said, the wings, the wings coming off the truck, that I would argue maybe got inspired from Dragonoid, but it's still not a ripoff. This thing is completely original. So let's take a look at it and just see what we got here. So we got the wings here, which look really cool. I love the, the, the purple plastic. These things are bendy because of the plastic. However, they don't move like the ones on Bakugan Dragonoid. Another reason why this truck is uh, different is because the wings do not move. Uh, we got pink cheek fur right here. We got these little purple ears, which look 3D printed, which is kind of neat. I kind of like the little detail there with the little rip. Uh, uh, <laughs> kind of like that little detail there with the little ridges. I think that's kind of neat. And a Hot Wheels logo in gray right there. And just some other details to point out. This side is exactly the same. I don't think, yeah, the flames are exactly the same. They're not uh, unique on each side. The top of the truck does feature some flame like pinstriping on it with some pink eyebrows and the Mosh Trucks logo there in orange and yellow. The engine in the back looks really cool. I love the way that looks as well as the tailpipes coming out the side. And then the window here in red looks really cool. You've got the hog nose right there like a hog nose bat and the yellowish teeth up front. I forgot to point out every, I forgot to do what I always do in these videos. We got a black body a red roll cage, chrome chassis, black tires, and purple rims all overall for this entire thing. And now that I've wasted half of this video talking about one truck, here's the turntable from Batitude. Let's get into the uh, less controversial stuff. said it before and I'll say it again I absolutely hate the character cars or the character trucks series where they take the character car Hot Wheels cars and turn them into monster trucks I think it's an absolute waste of space I think that they should get rid of it completely that's just me and speaking of that series that's what we've got here for the Disney Pixar movie Lightyear a movie that could have been absolutely amazing and actually lacked very heavily this is Buzz Lightyear as a the Hot Wheels car as a monster truck. So we're gonna take a look at that next. Pretty cool, pretty new Lightyear movie. As I said, Lightyear could have been a really cool movie and it just ended up lacking in so many ways. It even like, I don't know, it's Disney. What'd you expect? They were gonna do whatever they could to get money out of it. They didn't care about the quality of the movie. They just wanted the money that came off of it. Which is why one of the reasons why I think DreamWorks is better than Disney because at least their movies are good. So, so the name is Buzz Lightyear, the truck type is character strength to infinity and the crash attack and beyond. I really think what they should have done is maybe did a different joke for crash attack compared to strength. The strength should have been to infinity and beyond the crash attack could have been something like laser, uh, laser sight or something. I don't know. I feel like that was a missed opportunity, but whatever. I still think Mon uh, Hot Wheels Monster Trucks did what they could to make this good. So, oops, let me zoom out real quick. There we go. Here's the Lightyear nameplate for the Buzz Lightyear monster truck. Pretty basic, but still pretty neat. And, oh my God, like I like I willed it into existence, we have an orange Cruise Bruiser Crush car. How crazy is that? It's almost like I made that happen. <laughs> and here is the Buzz Lightyear monster truck. Take a look at this. This is actually pretty cool. So, what we've got here is we've got a white body, black roll cage, silver chassis, black tires, and purple rims. Very, very similar in setup to Batitude. Like, not gonna lie. Uh, the purple is a bit different. Never mind, I lied. I didn't. I didn't mean to lie to you guys like that. That was really mean of me. But um, so the paint scheme is meant to look like Buzz Lightyear's exo suit. So it's got the caution tape here and here, uh, green and purple accents everywhere. 
Uh, you can see his little buttons. When he was in Toy Story, he had buttons that you could press on his chest and he talked. Those little buttons are represented here and I think those are the same like buttons represented. This button here is his laser from uh, the Toy Story movies. He would press the big red button on his arm and it would shoot the laser out, which was really cool. It says uh, copyright Disney Pixar right there. They had to squeeze that on there. Um, got the headlights here and the grill here. I love the detail that they put into this one, uh, paint-wise. It really turned out really good. And then right here, this little black piece is meant to be his wings that pop out. He has little Buzz Lightyear has, or no, wait, no, the big red button. You press the big red button and his wings pop out. Sorry, I got that wrong. Uh, yeah, and then these are the wings back here, I think is what that's meant to represent. But yeah, all in all, that is Buzz Lightyear. Very simple, uh, very simple paint design, but it works really, really well for what they were trying to capture. So anyway, here's the turn. Now for a series that I like to refer to as a 50-50 series. When I refer to a series as a 50-50 series, it basically means half the trucks turned out good, half the trucks turned out terrible. Spidmaster, a good example of a Spidmaster 50-50 series is the Steel Reveal series they did this year. Half the trucks turned out amazing, half the trucks turned out like crap, but that's just the way it is. This is the same thing here for Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. This is number five of five for the comic book Crasher series, Bone Shaker. And where does this land on the 50-50 scale? I can tell just by looking at it in the package. This one right here is on the good side. This truck looks awesome and I cannot wait to get it out of the package. So let's do it. Bone Shaker here. I almost like to refer to this, uh, refer to Bone Shaker as the mascot vehicle for Hot Wheels. When you think Hot Wheels, you think Bone Shaker, you think Roger Dodger, you think Twin Mill. Those trucks, or rather those cars, are I would consider the icons of Hot Wheels at this point. And like I said, when you think Hot Wheels, those are probably the first ones you think of. I don't know why this blister doesn't want to come off. It's kind of being a little annoying, but uh, there we go. Trayish. Get that little plastic insert. I really don't like the extra plastic inserts that they're putting in these now. They're really annoying. But uh, yeah. All right. So here is Bone Shaker. So Bone Shaker. It is a hot rod truck with a skull grinding grill and a skull smackdown for the crash attack. Pretty neat. I wish they would have changed it up to make it more comic book related, but that is okay. Speaking of comic books, here is the nameplate. I love the way this looks. This nameplate is fantastic. Yeah. Arguably, this might be my favorite truck of the case. Maybe. There might be something that'll top it w later on. We'll see. And for the crush car, we got a green dogzilla. Pretty cool. All right. Here is Bone Shaker. So we've got an orange body, blue, like a, more like an indigo roll cage, a red chassis, black tires, and yellow rims. So here it is. Look at the detail on the side of this. This right here is called comic book texture. When they do the dots like this, it is something that is pretty cool. You know what it reminds me of? You know when, if you ever eat a, like a Subway sandwich with the Italian bread and you flip it over and it's got all those dots on the bottom? That's what this looks like to me. It's textured. That, oh my God. Okay, so the dots, anywhere that has the dots on it is textured. That is crazy. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but listen. It's textured, that's crazy. So yeah, we got the little dots everywhere, which represent the comic book texture. You got Hot Wheels Monster Trucks right here. Wham, Crush, Hot Wheels right there. Looks like a comic book panel. Is this a split paint job truck? We're about to see in three, two, one. And it is, look at that. It's got Hot Wheels Monster Trucks again, but everything has changed on this side. Instead, it says boom, really big, and Hot Wheels is more scooted down towards the ground, which is really cool. I love the split paint job. That is genius. Here at the front, you can see that skull grill with the headlights and the hands. And the giant motor with the 16 stacks on it looks absolutely amazing. Or the 16 pipes on it looks absolutely amazing. Top of the truck says Hot Wheels, as you can see there. Also on the hood, there's some detailing with some uh, some uh, action bubbles, which look really cool. In the back, you can see the battery as well as the fuel tank. And then if you look back here, it says Crush in a comic book action bubble. So there you go. That is 
the Comic Book Crashers Bone Shaker. I am a huge fan of this truck. This thing is absolutely amazing looking. So here is the turn. at it again for another character truck. This is the Triceratops from Jurassic World Dominion. The newest and the final Jurassic Park movie, I do believe. So yeah, we're gonna take a look at that up next. I will say compared to Buzz Lightyear, I do think this one concept-wise is a lot cooler just for, you know, its own reasons. And we'll get to take a look at that here in a second. But yeah, so this is Triceratops. Again, it's a character truck. I'm not a huge fan of the character trucks. I think they're super, super duper uh, cheap. I don't think that uh, Hot Wheels, I, they're throwaway trucks, I think. However, there is one, and we will get to see that uh, next month, is what I plan on doing. I think I got that video scheduled for next month. There's one character truck that Hot Wheels has released in monster truck form that I would argue is actually better than the Hot Wheels car it's based off of. It is just the greatest thing ever and you will see why when that video comes out it's fantastic so scoot everything out of the way we got jurassic world dominion the name of the truck is triceratops truck type character strength is triple tough and crash attack is horn hammer so i have a feeling this this truck was made in retaliation to uh jurassic attack which i do believe if i remember correctly jurassic attack rejoined Monster Jam the same year that this Triceratops truck came out. So I think the reason why they made this truck was because of Jurassic Attack. Again, that's just a theory. It's probably like the Bakugan Dragonoid being uh, copied and turned into Batitude. Kind of that level of a theory, but who knows. Anyway, here's the nameplate. It just, it's a pretty basic nameplate. It just says Jurassic World Dominion and then Triceratops and the Jurassic World font underneath it. Not a fan of that one. We got a blue time of taxi. Again, the only color the time of taxi really seems to come in. So, I don't know. And then here is the Triceratops. The dump bed does not move, which is already a little disappointing. Uh, not a very good start for this truck. However, I do think that this truck looks really cool. I will say, though, it does remind me. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys have seen that crappy Disney cartoon. Is it Disney? Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if any of you guys have seen that cartoon, The Blaze and the Monster Machines, I think is what it's called. This reminds me of the T-Rex truck from that show very much because color-wise it remind, color -wise and shape-wise it really looks like it. And I don't know if Hot Wheels knew that when they were making this or what. That is interesting. I'll show you that in a second. So, yeah, just looking at the sides here, there's some pretty interesting detail. We've got the uh, Triceratops skin uh, paint scheme on the cab and on the uh, dump bed here, which looks really cool. We got Mosh Trucks Hot Wheels there. It seems to be like a fuel tank of some kind here. And I think that looks like a dozer track, which is really weird that they included that detail on here because the tiny little dozer track with the giant tires looks really goofy. I don't know why they kept that on there. That seems a bit strange. This side is exactly the same, just changed a little bit. The front end is what we need to talk about though, because we got the headlights. The beak of the Triceratops makes up the grill. Uh, the triple horns is somewhat represented here. There's the nose horn, which is on the top of the grill. And then quite literally, we have horns on the top, and they're rubbery. So you can move these little horns around really easily, which is kind of kind of silly. I like it, though. The fan, the armored fan on the Triceratops is represented by the back of the cab and the front of the dump bed here, and it has lights on it where the spikes would be. And then the back end features just tail lights and everything and the hydraulics set up to where the dump bed would be. We've got a dark green body, a uh, black chassis or black roll cage, army green chassis, black tires, army green rims, and shiny jade green bead locks. So there you go. Oh, and they got a green uh, window inserts as well, which looks really cool. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Triceratops monster truck for Jurassic World. I think it's better than the uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex monster truck they did for Jurassic World. I would argue that this one is better, but again, it's still not very good. It is neat though. I do like the concept and I think just with a little bit of tweaking, it could have worked out. But anyway, here's the turn table. Now 
now for a series that I really think that they should bring back. This is uh, number three of four for the Crash Squad series. This is Mega Rex. The real life Mega Rex, mind you. This is the paint job they run in real life, but not exactly. What you're gonna notice about this truck is it looks beat to crap, and that is intentional. So, what you are looking at is the, what I like to consider the battle damaged series. These trucks are essentially meant to look like they have been destroyed in battle of some kind. Mega Rex, of course, looks like, because it's a dinosaur, Mega Rex, of course, looks like it's been beaten up in some sort of combat, which I think is really neat. Let's take a look at the back end here. So we got Mega Rex, uh, truck type creature, strength, Tyranno teeth, and crash attack is Dino Bite. Mega Rex has been around since the Monster Jam days. This, tr this casting is quite ancient, no pun intended, haha. <laughs> Uh, well, pun intended. Okay, that was a lie. Pun was intended. There's Mega Rex there. The nameplate with the scratches on it looks really cool. And we've got a green Gazella GT in here, which looks really cool. Or, God, sorry. A red Rally Cat. I don't know what a green Gazella GT. That wasn't even close. Oh, my God. That is a red Rally Cat is what that is. I don't... I apologize. I have no clue where that came from. That was weird. But yeah, so here's the truck, and uh, we've got this really cool green body, this interesting like minty green roll cage, a dark red uh, chassis, black tires, and the same dark red colored rims. So right off the bat, this is so freaking cool. Look at that. This truck looks like a dinosaur that just got done fighting for territory out on, out in the jungle for against like another t-rex or something this thing looks beat up so basically what it is it's meant to be the real life mega rex design so you got moss trucks mega rex the green with the cool little rainbow scale pattern on it with the tail and everything it's pretty neat however you're gonna notice this truck's eyes have been blacked there is deep cuts through the skin of the dinosaur here you can even see bone that's how deep the cuts are here how crazy is that Hot Wheels logo. You can see that there is blood on the teeth. Some teeth are broken and missing up front. There's a lot of blood on the teeth. On this side, there's teeth that are just been snapped in half and just ripped to pieces. You can see tears in the uh, jowls here, which look really crazy. And then, of course, right on the front, it looks like someone just ripped a chunk out of his nose with the bone there through those gashes. That is insane. And then this whole truck just looks bruised as well. Hot Wheels, if there is anybody at Hot Wheels or anybody that can get this out to Hot Wheels, please bring back this series for 2024, the Battle Damaged Monster Trucks. This Mega Rex right here is single-handedly one of the most creative things that has ever come. And I would argue, I think I'm going to add Battle Damaged Mega Rex to my list of top 10 Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. That is how cool it is. Anyway, let's get to the turn here. we have a truck that is quite literally as its series says a crash legend this is number nine of eleven oh that that's weirdly ironic considering what happened last week this is number nine of eleven for the crash legend series bigfoot now what you guys are staring at is bigfoot number one the original bigfoot now the reason why bigfoot number one is such an important truck is because ladies and gentlemen what you are staring at is a die cast rendition of the first ever monster truck this truck right here is what created everything you've seen in today's video this truck right here started my addiction to collecting these thingies because had it not existed i wouldn't be collecting these in the first place bob chandler and his ford big blue ford bigfoot right here is the whole reason why monster jam hot wheels monster trucks live all of this exists he is the reason why during monster truck shows they crush cars this truck is the reason why we all now recognize monster trucks as one of the number one motorsports of all time because of this truck right here this is what started it all and so this 
This will be my first ever Bigfoot number one out of package. The excitement that I have to open this is immeasurable. And you, you do not know how happy I am that I am about to take this out of package. This right here is a piece of history because I'm pretty sure, don't, don't mistake me here. Oh no, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is the first time ever that Bigfoot has been released outside, or Bigfoot number one has been released outside of green light. So this is, this is a huge moment right here. Huge moment, here we go. And ironically, last week, or last, yeah, last week, we did a Hot Wheels Monster Trucks video and we, or no, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, we did a Hot Wheels Monster Trucks video where we got to see the newest Bigfoot in diecast form. And now we're looking at the oldest, the original, the first ever monster truck. Bigfoot 4x4x4. Four by four by four. It is a pickup truck with car crushing shocks and the original stomp. Car crushing shocks, of course, being a reference to what made Bigfoot famous, which I will give you that history lesson here in a second. Here is the nameplate, which is an exact copy of the side panel of the truck. I love that. So simple, yet so nostalgic and beautiful. For those of you who don't know, Bigfoot, the monster truck, this one right here. Hold on. We got a yellow dogzilla, finally a yellow crush car. Those are rare, I bet. They're pro that's probably why they're golden. <laughs> Mustard. Um, so, God, cut that out of the video editor. <laughs> so, yeah. This right here is the first ever monster truck created in 1974. Bigfoot, for the first time ever, would become the first recognized monster truck. Now, there's been plenty of trucks in the past that were large and did some crazy things. But the reason, what made Bigfoot special is what he did. Bob Chandler built this truck from the ground up. He would go out and just drive it in fields, all sorts of stuff, because it was his daily driver pickup truck until he kept making it bigger and bigger. It kind of became an obsession. And then at one point during a county fair, they put a car, oh, and he used to mud. He used to go mudding all the time in the truck as well. They put a car out in the track and he drove over the top of it and crushed it. It was the craziest thing that people back then had seen. It was really proved just how powerful pickup trucks could be. And as a result, it sparked a brand new motorsport that would get recognized worldwide. All because of this blue beauty right here. Now, I'm gonna quit fangirling over this and we're gonna get into the review now. We have got a beautiful, shiny blue body with a black roll cage, silver chassis, black tires, and white rims. It looks absolutely amazing. And because my grandmother requested it, I wanna show you how sparkly this thing is. So we're gonna get right up close and personal here. Look at the glitter on the side of this truck. It is beautiful. That is an immaculate shine. Looks amazing. And that is all, anywhere you see blue, that shine is there. You can kind of see it. It is pretty crazy. So we have a bunch of sponsor stickers on the side. Hot Wheels, Mon Hot Wheels, Monster Trucks, Summit Racing, Firestone, Bigfoot 4x4x4, the little Bigfoot sticker right there, the little mascot sticker. And then we've got the uh, rever uh, rear reflector, front reflector, and we got blue trim and this beautiful black line right there. Pretty much spot on to the real truck. They even put in a hood indent where the hood would open and everything. Like they, 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 they nailed this. Hot Wheels nailed this. It is amazing. The only thing about this truck that isn't accurate to the real one is that it has a Hot Wheels sticker right here, which nowadays that might be accurate. But if we're going like way back when to when he first did the, the car crushing and when this truck was in its prime, that Hot Wheels sticker wasn't there. Everything else is accurate though, which is crazy. So this side is exactly the same, so we're not going to spend too much time on it. Actually, yes, we are because there's a little detail here. If you look, I said his name earlier, Bob Chandler, the creator of monster trucks in general, has his name under the door frame. That is fantastic that they included that. Bigfoot logo here. You've got the twin air intakes up here. A fun little detail about Bigfoot is that he always had those. Then the rest of the truck is barren except for the back end. It says Bigfoot on the tailgate with the taillights. Again, as I said, this thing is an absolute work of art and I love how it turned out. They did such a beautiful job on this truck and it does not have to look this good, but Hot Wheels wanted to make sure that the first ever monster truck got the correct treatment it deserved. Let's get to the turn.
geez louise between Batitude and bigfoot this video has, is gonna be a long one holy crap anyway next up we have buns of steel this truck is not from this case i will explain that here in a second this one is number two of six for the snack pack series now this truck i do believe if i am not mistaken is from uh case c yes this truck is from case c 2022 now, with that being said, you're probably wondering, why am I going to review it now? Well, because it actually was re-released in this series. Here's the Bigfoot card back. You can see Buns of Steel and Night Shifter. Night Shifter is another one I've actually already reviewed on the channel, are also in this case. They are re-releases. So if you are a collector, just know, if you already have this truck from Case C, here you can see the card back is different. If you already have this truck from here, this is not different. This is the exact same monster truck. It's just a re-release. So, with that being said... I am not going to spend too much time reviewing the next two trucks. I will go more in depth in their appropriate videos. With that being said, this is Buns of Steel. We're going to unbox it in three, two, one. Here we go. So, yeah, this, like I said, this truck is one that uh, I've already, or that one that when I go to do the KC video, I will do a lot more de in depth detail on. So, yeah, it's not going to be, this This is not going to be, in the next two trucks I am not going to do an in-depth review on. It is just going to be a quick and easy one. You'll still get the turntable and you'll still get to see all the detail up close. But like I said, it's just a quick and, quick and fast review. So we've got Buns of Steel. It is a city truck. It is the Appetite Stealer and keep your eyes on the fries. That is amazing. I love that. And I won't lie, compared to the actual Hot Wheels car called Buns of Steel, I like the monster truck 10 times better. It looks so much better because they put way more detail on it. Here's the card art, or the, not the card art, the uh, card insert. And we got a blue time taxi, another city vehicle. So that's pretty cool that they included that one in there. And then here is Buns of Steel. We got a red body, a yellow roll cage, a gr uh, gray chassis, black tires, black rims, and green B blocks. So... Looking at the body here, there's a lot of detail. Like I said, the Hot Wheels car that this is based off of does not nearly have the amount of detail that this truck has. It is insane. So we've got the Fry Basket uh, design back here, which looks really good. Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. Combo, Flip, Smash, and Crush. Hot Wheels logo, Buns of Steel logo. If we flip up to the top, we got the Hot Wheels logo with the Buns of Steel logo on top of it, which looks really cool. The front end has a headlight setup with, grill, with the grill and, of course, an air intake up here. This side has the Buns of Steel logo, like, supersized, supersized them fries with the Hot Wheels logo and the Monster Trucks logo. The back end features the Monster Trucks logo and Ryu's uh, lo logo here on the tailgate because Ryu Asada designed the original Buns of Steel Hot Wheels car, so they paid homage to him in the Monster Truck as well. Of course, the year that this truck first came out was the year that Ryu sadly passed away and they were recognizing all of his creations. So, of course, this right having this on the truck is a very special little detail that they included. And I appreciate, as a Hot Wheels collector and someone who is so in-depth with the collecting, I appreciate that they did that. That is great. We got a blue window insert and a black sun visor. And then, of course, the top of the truck has a fry basket here with fries in it. And then we have a fully colored and detailed burger on the back. I hate the way that they put this burger together, but I understand why they did it this way. Having the lettuce underneath the burger is actually kind of smart because all the juice that falls off the burger will go into the lettuce rather than getting soaked into the bun. It's smart. I don't build my, personally, I don't build my burgers that way, but it is smart to build them that way. I will say that. Anyway, this is Buns of Steel. That is your quick little review for it. Let's get into the final truck and we'll close out the video. final truck to go the truck number eight for this case again a re-release however this one luckily i've already done the full in-depth review on so i've opened it up and already seen what it looks like on the inside this is going to be a quick and easy review just nice and simple so we're going to run through it really fast i do not have the card back for this okay i've got everything now let's get right to it okay so starting off with the card back you've seen this before night shifter it is a race car the strength is pitch driver and the crash attack is streetlight smasher you guys have seen that already you should already know all of that 
Let me see. Okay, here is the card insert. I found that as well. It says Night Shifter right there. It looks really cool. Again, if you go and watch my Hot Wheels Monster Trucks 2022 KSA video, you will uh, see this truck fully reviewed. Crush car you get is a red Rally Cat as well. Let's get to the truck and just run through it real quick. We've got a teal body, orange roll cage, chrome chassis, black tires with yellow rims. The rims are specialized for this one. This, is the first, this would be the first ever monster truck to feature these rims, which is really cool. The body itself says 22 all over it to represent the year that it came out. Hot Wheels, monster trucks, and it has this really cool topography design to it, which looks really great. I love the design of that. It is actually really unique and really cool looking in my opinion. We've also got black and yellow stripes here. You can see the exposed motor, both the front and the back has two motors apparently. And yeah, that is Night Shifter in its entirety. The whole monster truck right there, nice, quick and simple. Let's do the turntable and close out today's video. all eight of them together the full case running back through we got Batitude, buzz lightyear bone shaker triceratops mega rex bigfoot buns of steel and night shifter that is the full case for you like i said if you are a collector just know that these two trucks are not actually from this case so if you already have the 2022 variations of these two trucks you do not need to buy them again they are the complete exact same trucks nothing changed so if you are looking to collect the case exclusive trucks for this, it's these six, not these two. The rest of them are all exclusive to this case in a way, not exactly, but in a way they are just for 2022. Anyway, that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all in the next unboxing video. Peace out.